Realizing there has been a misunderstanding, Gao tells Zing there is a difference between an electric shock and a romantic shock. To prove this difference, Gao kisses Zing unexpectedly, but she says she doesn't feel any shock. The following day, Gao and Xiana discuss the next phase of their plan, which is to scare Chen into bringing all his belongings, including the mystery box, to Gao's apartment. Elsewhere, Chen tells Zing that Gao loves her, but she would have to make him realize it. He also tells her that the way to do so is to make Gao buy her expensive things like handbags. After receiving flirting lessons from Chen, Zing calls Gao and demands for a new handbag. Gao eventually buys Zing the most expensive bag per her request. While Gao, Zing, and Chen are still at the mall, Kin and Xiana head to Chen's sanatorium and carry out the second part of the plan Xiana and Gao discussed earlier. The plan is successful, and Chen moves all his belongings, including the box, into Gao's house. Later that day, he arrives to take Zing shopping, and although Gao doesn't like it, he reluctantly lets her go. In the shopping mall, Zing tries her best to find a nurse outfit, because she is convinced that Gao finds them attractive. After hours of shopping, he tells Zing about his feelings for her, but she politely turns him down. However, he expresses his determination to win her heart. To celebrate Chen fully moving in, Chen, Kin, Gao, and Xiana go out for dinner. Halfway through, Gao receives a call from Lai and and he seizes the opportunity to sneak home and search Chen's room for the box. Before Gao is able to locate the box, Chen, Xiana, Kin, and Zing arrive at the house, putting an end to his search. Quickly Zing dresses up in her new nurse uniform and starts badgering Gao to go stargazing with her. The others overhear the conversation and decide to tag along, so it becomes a camping trip. Zing is upset about this at first, but Gao eventually cheers her up. Moments later, everyone is packed and ready to go, including Chen who secretly takes his mystery box along with him. Elsewhere, Dong kidnaps a friend of Chen's and violently obtains information about the mystery box, Chen's whereabouts, and his relationship with Gao. Realizing that the box must contain important information, Dong orders his men to start tailing Chen, who at the time is with Gao, Zing, Xiana, and Kin. Following Dong's orders, one of his men follows the five to a supermarket and learns they are preparing for a camping trip. He immediately reports this to Dong. Completely oblivious to the fact that they are in danger, Gao, Zing, Xiana, Chen, and Kin finish their shopping and head to the campsite. During the campsite dinner, Dong and his men manage to snatch Chen's bag and make away with it. Zing pursues them, but Gao stops her because it's too dangerous. Luckily for the group, Zing memorizes the car's plate number, so Kin and Xiana are able to track down Dong and his men. After locating Dong's safe house, Kin and Xiana begin to spy on him using a drone. Through this means, they learn that Dong has invited a locksmith to open the box, but the attempt is unsuccessful. When Gao leaves to join his teammates, Zing convinces him to take her along and Chen, who is still suspicious of Gao, gets into a cab and tails them. Using dessert as a distraction, Gao is able to get Zing off his back. When Zing is gone, Gao and an armed thug use some unethical means to obtain information from Dong's locksmith about the box. Chen watches the whole thing from a distance and concludes that Gao knows more than he is letting on about the stolen box and is not to be trusted. Moments later, Kin, Xiana, and Gao discuss the next line of action. They decide to trick both Chen and Dong with a fake box. Back at Gao's house, Chen remains lost in thought about Gao's intention. Soon after, when Gao, Kin, and Xiana return Chen demands to be allowed into the wine cellar to choose his preferred wine. Gao obliges and takes Chen downstairs to the cellar. Zing follows suit and is surprised to see that the jewelry studio has been transformed into a wine cellar. To prevent her from spilling his secrets, Gao pulls Zing away, and they kiss. Xiana witnesses the kiss, and she warns Gao that he should stay focused on their mission. Before bed, Zing confronts Gao about the kiss accusing him of denying his feelings for her all this time. But he brushes her off. The following day, Xiana, Kin, and Gao meet with a hired thug and hatch a plan to retrieve the box from Dong. To keep Zing distracted, Gao asks he to take her out. Before he arrives, Chen convinces Zing that Gao is in trouble and coaxes her into going to Dong's safe house. For a time, the plan to steal Chen's box back is going smoothly, but everything goes south when Chen and Zing arrive. Chen manages to get possession of his box, and in the process, Xiana suffers a head injury trying to protect Zing. The turn of events upsets Gao to the point that he says hurtful things to Zing, 
and commands her to disappear. After Xing leaves, Qin tells Gao not to be too hard on her because Chen is really to blame. The following day, Gao confronts Lai An and asks her to tell Dong to back off. Xing returns to the hospital to apologize to Xiana. In response to the apology, Xiana tells Xing that she has no job or value and so she cannot be with Gao. The conversation is cut short when Chen and Gao enter the room. Xiana's words visibly hurt Xing, so she leaves with Yi. After the two have a conversation, Xing decides to stay with Yi secure a job, and become more like the city women in order to be worthy of Gao's love before returning to him. Elsewhere, Don learns that the box he now has is a fake and starts looking into a lead to find the only other man who knows Chen's secret. When Don learns that the man is deceased, he decides to find his only surviving son instead. That evening, Gao misses Zing, but he does not contact her. True to her word, Zing goes to look for work the next day after making Yi breakfast. On the bus, a good Samaritan pays Zing's fare and helps her read a note she found in her pocket. The note is from Gao, and it is his way of keeping Zing safe. Despite her effort, Zing cannot find work at the Talent Exchange Center because she lacks employable skills. However, after a series of events, she ends up securing a job as a stretcher bearer in a hospital. Lion confronts Dong and asks him to stop sabotaging Gao's attempts. In response to this, Dong informs Lion that he is now searching for the son of the other man who worked with Chen and would possibly know the location of the hidden mine. Immediately, Lion writes off the idea and encourages Dong to abandon the search because she does not want him to find out that the man he is seeking is actually Gao. Xiana, Gao, and Kin have a meeting, and when it is over, Gao secretly asks Kin for an app to track Zing's phone. Eventually, Kin gives Gao the app, and he tracks Zing to a nearby hospital. Overcome by curiosity and concern, Gao starts heading to the hospital, but he takes a Dieter to pick up Chen who claims to be lost somewhere. In the process of getting into the car, Chen gets hit by a motorbike while trying to save Gao. Since Chen is hurt, Gao rushes him to a nearby hospital. There, he sees Zing and notices scars on her hands from her time working as a stretcher bearer. Gao tries everything he can to convince Zing to quit, but she refuses to do so. From a flashback, it is revealed that Chen orchestrated the accident to gain Gao's trust. We also learn that Gao had a similar experience with his dad. Later, Gao goes over to Xiana and Kin, and he meets Kin trying to find the code to unlock Chen's box. Upon seeing this, Gao informs Xiana and Kin that he intends to call off the deal with Lai and because he no longer wants to investigate Chen. This leads to a heated argument between Xiana and Gao because she believes he is being sentimental and putting them all in danger. Later, he asks Kin to help him prevent any means of reconciliation between Gao and Zing, but Kin turns him down. Frustrated and worried, Xiana goes off to see Lion alone. During the conversation, Lion tells Xiana that she no longer has feelings for Gao. This means that Lion would show no mercy if things go wrong. Determined to make Zing stop working as a stretched bearer, Gao files complaints with the hospital's customer service until they have no choice but to fire her. Losing her job makes Zing unhappy, and Gao offers to take her to dinner, but she turns him down because she has plans with Yi. Later he comforts Zing and he gives her a diamond ring. With her first paycheck, Zing buys gifts for Chen, Gao, and Xiana, so together with Yi, she goes to Gao's house to deliver them. During the visit, Gao is incredibly jealous of Yi, so he pulls Zing aside and confronts about the ring and all the activities she and Yi did together. Things get intense between them, and just as they are about to kiss, Xiana interrupts. Overcome by jealousy and the lack of attention from Zing, Gao decides to head to a bar. The others indicate interest, and so they all go together. While at the bar, Gao spends his time flirting with other women to make Zing jealous. The amount of effort Gao is putting into making Zing jealous hurts Xiana's feelings, so she leaves the bar. Outside, Kin convinces Xiana to confess her feelings to Gao. Gao's plan works, and Zing snaps. Filled with jealousy, Zing tells the other woman that Gao is her man. When things quiet down, Zing and Gao have an intimate conversation and things get intense. Just as Gao is about to confess his feelings for Zing with a kiss, Xiana interrupts. Refusing to back down, Xiana, who is now drunk, proceeds to pour her heart out to Gao. The next is Xiana's birthday, and when she wakes up, she immediately regrets her actions from the night before. The turn of events leaves Kin feeling sad, so he meets up with Yi to discuss his feelings. In response, Yi advises Kin to buy Xiana a gift and to continue fighting for her love. Elsewhere, Zing is in a dilemma. She loves Gao but feels obligated to let Xiana have him. To put an end to Zing's misery, Yi takes her to an amusement park, and they have a fun day together. Before Kin can hand over his gift to Xiana, she excitedly leaves their shared apartment to go on a dinner date with Gao. At dinner, Gao politely rejects Xiana's romantic advances, 
but she still gets upset and leaves halfway through. On the way home, he takes Zing to a romantic spot. There he declares his love for her and attempts to kiss her, but she turns him down. She makes it clear that she loves Gao and returns his diamond ring. This breaks his heart. Later that night, Kin realizes that Ziana is not home. Immediately he tries to reach her, but her cell phone is turned off, so he calls Gao, who confirms that he is not with her. Overcome by worry, Kin snaps. He attacks Gao and begins to frantically search for Ziana. He eventually finds her in a park, and the two reminisce about their childhood. Moments later, Gao joins them before leaving. He announces that it is time for the three of them to part ways. Ziana and Kin try to argue but his mind is made up. The following day, Zing goes to Gao's house to confess her feelings, but he locks himself in his room. Eventually, Zing manages to get through to him. The two have an intimate conversation and subsequently, accept their feelings for each other. However, Gao makes Zing promise not to kiss or hug him in the presence of Ziana and Kin because they are both sad. Elsewhere, Lion and Don are having a meeting. Don reveals his intention to investigate Zing's background. He has developed an interest in her because of her outstanding abilities. After getting his heart broken, he has absolutely no interest in work. He refuses to do anything at all, but along the line, he hires Zuo, an overzealous astrology enthusiast who encourages him not to give up on Zing. Inspired by this advice, he takes Zing to lunch and informs her of his intention to stick around in hopes that one day she may learn to love him. In response to this, Zing tells you that while she cherishes his friendship, they can only be friends after he gets over her. Despite the rift between the trio, Ziana instructs Kin to continue working on cracking the code to open Chen's box in secret. She also tells him that she is moving out for a bit to clear her head. Shortly after, Ziana moves into a caravan. Elsewhere, Gao has a meeting with Lai An. He assures her that everything is under control in an attempt to get her to lower her guard. But Lai An gets suspicious and orders her men to follow Gao and report his every move. Unaware that he has aroused Lai An's suspicion, Gao initiates his plan to help Chen escape. But first, he informs Zing that he intends to embark on a dangerous adventure. That night, Gao gives Chen a plane ticket and informs him that the flight is scheduled for early the next day. Together, the two men have an emotional moment. Completely oblivious to Gao's plan, Kin remains dedicated to his mission, figuring out how to open Chen's box. Through his research, Kin learns that the box was designed and patented by Gao's father. Early the next day, Kin rushes over to Ziana's caravan to inform her of his findings. By this time, Gao is on his way to drop Chen at the airport. Soon Gao notices that his car is being followed. The men following the car are Lion's men, so they quickly call her. Lion is with Dong when she receives the call, and together, the two decide what to do next. Lion convinces Dong not to act rashly and tells her men to continue tailing Gao. While he is still deciding what to do about his stalkers, Gao receives a call from Ziana. She tells him about his father's connection to Chen's box. Immediately Gao changes his direction and takes Chen back to the house. Moments later, Lion's men show up and inform Gao that their boss wants to see him. As the men are taking Gao to Lion's coffee shop, they drive past Zing and Yi. Zing immediately spots Gao in the unfamiliar car and instructs Yi to follow the vehicle. Soon, the two are outside Lion's coffee shop. Inside the shop, Lion instructs her men to beat Gao as his punishment for defying her. Outside, Yi summons his fans to the coffee shop, and they act as a distraction, so Lion lets Gao go. While the distraction works, it brings Lion's attention to Yi and Zing, and she starts looking into them. Zing is genuinely concerned about Gao, and the two have a cute exchange before joining the others inside. Later, Gao, Ziana, and Kin discuss the situation, and they decide to join forces and complete this last mission before finally parting ways. In line with this agreement, Ziana moves back into the house she shares with Kin. That night, Gao and Zing have another cute moment, and they end up sleeping in the same bed. The next day, Gao's happiness is cut short when Ziana informs him that Chen is actually Zhu, the man who destroyed his family. Blinded by hatred, Gao tries to stab Chen, but Zing unintentionally stops him. Although Gao doesn't follow through with his plan to stab Chen, he becomes overcome by deep sorrow, and he remembers his parents' last moments. He remembers that they died because of Zhu. Still in emotional distress, Gao goes to his old home and brings Zing with him. Being in his old house brings painful memories to Gao and triggers his past trauma. Luckily Zing is there for him. She holds him, declares her undying love for him, and tries to calm his fears. From a distance, Ziana witnesses this emotional exchange, and this makes her approve of Zing. She apologizes for her harsh words and tells Zing they can be friends again. Through Gao's visit to his old house, 
Dong is able to figure out that Gao is the son of Chen's former colleague. Dong also suspects that Lian planned it all from the beginning. His mother pays him an unexpected visit and is surprised to learn that his new assistant Zuo is actually Jiayu. Jiayu is Yi's childhood friend who has always had a crush on him, but the two got separated when she traveled abroad. Zuo begs Yi's mother to hide her identity and reveals that she wants to use her job as an avenue to get to know him better. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like if you think we should make the next part. Thank you.